This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. What's up guys, Leon here. Welcome back to Tesla Mare. I'm so glad to see you back guys. Can you remember the last video? Wireless drone? That was epic. Before we moving on with the project, I want to show you a little new circuit in this video. A new EMP jammer circuit. What else? You will soon find out why I love the circuit so much and it's not because EMP jammers are very popular on YouTube. <laughs> so guys, be curious. EMP jammers are just cool. They are easy to build, are small and harmless and you can do a lot of experiments with them. We can create plasma flames, singing plasma flames and of course we can test fluorescent lamps. The only thing that really bugs me about them is winding the coil. It's not so easy to wrap a coil around a wire. And that's where we come to the new circuit. With this circuit we only need one coil. And this one is easy to wind, for example around a tube. But let's start from the very beginning. For the circuit we need four capacitors, a resistor, a transistor, a coil and a piece of wire as an antenna. There are a few more components than the normal circuit, but it doesn't make the circuit more complicated. Here are the component values for a working setup. These are not perfect, I think the circuit can be improved by quite a bit. The only important thing is that the capacitor are ceramic and can handle at least 500 volts. The resistor is not so critical, 0.5 watt power is enough. For the transistor it gets a bit more tricky again. We can use the 2SC2078. The NTE152 works also. It is important that you use original transistors, because the fakes will not work in this circuit. But what is the difference between the new circuit and the old one? Obviously there are two coals in the normal EMP jammer, but only one coal in the new one. The one coal forms an LC oscillating circuit with a capacitor. This oscillates on a specific frequency. This causes the second coil to oscillate, since it has the same resonance frequency as the oscillating circuit. At the upper end of the coil, which we can also call resonator, a strong magnetic as well as electric field is generated. As you can see, the bottom of the resonator is connected to the base of the transistor. So a signal is fed back into the resonant circuit. We could also call this feedback. The new circuit is similar, but it has no resonator. Here the signal is fed back directly from the oscillating circuit. The oscillating circuit in this case consists either of the two capacitors and the coil or these two capacitors and the coil. But the capacitance is the same in both cases, because this is also necessary. The antenna is connected between the resonant circuit capacitor and the coil. But why at this point? Because of the oscillation of the oscillating circuit, the voltage amplitude becomes higher and higher. The voltage at the point between the capacitor and the coil will be later so high that the intensity of the electric field will be high enough to illuminate the gas in a lamp. This is why it's so important that the capacitors have adequate dielectric strength. Otherwise they would blow and a short circuit would occur. So much for the theory. As I mentioned in the beginning guys, the circuit is not perfect yet. What I want to say is that you are welcome to optimize the circuit with me. You can always learn a lot from the experiences of others. Maybe I will design a PCB later. Oh, and while we're talking about PCBs, JLC PCB is a sponsor of today's video. JLC PCB is a PCB manufacturer which allows you to make your own PCBs. For only $2 you already get 5 PCBs. If that is not a good price, you can even go one step further. If you use the PCB assembly service, you don't even have to assemble the boards. Believe me, especially with SMD components you save a lot of trouble. The only thing you have to do is save your Gerber file as a zip file. Once this is done, select the desired parameters. Lead free? <laughs> yeah, definitely. What color are you in favor of? <laughs> Purple is sexy, isn't it? Just upload the file, order and you're done. Within 24 hours your PCB will be produced. And a few days later they will arrive. If you register at JLC PCB via the link in the video description, you will get 4 coupons with a total value of $27. 
I will now show you my setup. It's cute, isn't it? It looks a bit like a mini transmitting station. Well, it's a transmitter after all. One thing about the antenna. It's not optimal for the circuit, because the frequency of the circuit is relatively low at about 3 MHz, but it serves its purpose. I will now connect 5 volts to the circuit. As you can see on the oscilloscope, the circuit oscillates at about 3 MHz. Very cool. Now let me show you how high the voltage is between the capacitor and the coal, even with an input voltage of 5 volts. The voltage amplitude can be seen well on the scope. I think you can imagine how high the voltage will be at a higher input voltage. Starting at about 9 volt, the emitted electric field is strong enough to make this lamp light up. Now let's go up to 27 volts. The lamp will even light up at a greater distance. We can even draw a small arc on the antenna. or tattoo our fingers. Let's see how a calculator reacts to the jammer. This one will definitely be messed up well. So guys, I hope you like the new little EMP jammer. Which version do you like better, the old one or the new one? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, you can be excited. I'm working on some pretty cool projects at the moment. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And then guys, we'll see us in the next video.